hello guys welcome back to this channel hope everyone is fine on that note let's start this video so this is week one assignment of the course software testing so guys for the past five years we have been providing solutions for various NPTEL courses including software testing as well so guys we tried our best to give you the most probable solutions if there are any solution changes i will mention in the comment section so before final submission once again do check out that guys and if you feel there should be any changes to be made for the solutions you can please give your opinion in the comment section so please watch that video till the end guys i need your continuous support and encouragement to upload further week videos so we are already uploading many other solutions course solutions as well so please subscribe our channel definitely like the video guys then only our videos will appear in suggestions for other students like you as well and definitely share this with your friends and classmates in your whatsapp college student groups so first question guys which of the following statements describe a failure of a software? So for first question, I have got two probable solutions. The first one is option B. A user notices that the results produced do not match with what it should be. And the other one is option D, guys. A program crashes when a tester enters a valid input. So mark option B and D as the probable solutions for final question, for first question. So guys, please watch the video till then. Don't skip the video, guys. You may miss some content if I make any changes in between the video. So do watch full video. And please subscribe our channel and like this video. And please share this with your friends and classmates in your WhatsApp college student groups. So next question, guys. About half of the effort of development of typical software is spent on testing. But the testing typically requires only 10% of the development time. What? Which one of the following explains this apparent anomaly? So the probable solution for second question is option B guys. Testing permits many parallel activities. So mark option B. Next, third question. Which of the following are true concerning verification in the context of waterfall based development? So for third question, I have got once more uh, two probable solutions like the first. So the first one is option B guys, carried out by the developers. Next, option C guys, involves, involves both static and dynamic activities. So mark option B and as well as option C. Next, fourth question. Which one of the following statements is true concerning unit testing? So for fourth question, the probable answer is option A guys. Carried out by the developers. So mark option A. Now let's move on to the fifth one. Which of the following statements are not implied by the pesticide paradox? So for fifth question, it, there are two probable solutions. The first one is option A guys. A, a software can be tested by repeated application of a testing methodology. And the other one is option D. A software should be tested by deploying the best among all the testing methodologies. So mark option A and option D as the probable solutions for fifth question. Now let's move on to the sixth one. Next, sixth question. So before moving into the sixth question, I want to make a small announcement, guys. So that is regarding exam preparation and CPS. So for the course software testing, we have collected and prepared our own handmade as well as our mix of past NPTEL assignment questions. So these are the combination of past NPTEL assignment questions as, our, as well as our own handmade questions prepared from completely NPTEL lectures, guys. So with five years of NPTEL experience, we, have, we are providing this for you. So here you will get a huge number of 150 MCQs guys. 150 MCQs in a Google Drive PDF restricted link. So for if you take it as one person, it will be 150 rupees guys. If you take it combinedly for five students, it will be 500 only guys. So individually you can get it for 100 rupees only. So please ask your friends to so form a group of five members. So you'll get it for 500 rupees only guys. So for one person it is 150, for five persons it is find it so mail me to this email ID guys bk179417 at the red gmail.com if you mail me to this email regarding the subject you want we'll provide you the mcq for your account guys so mail me to this email ID guys for one person it is 150 for five persons combined it is 500 rupees so that's it guys now let's get back to the solution so please share this with your friends and classmates guys 
So sixth question, guys. Which one of the following is true concerning integration testing? So for sixth question, the probable answer is option C. Often carried out by a separate testing team. So mark option C. Next seventh question. Seventh question. What is the purpose of smoke test? So for seventh question, the probable answer is option A is check sanity of the developed system. Check sanity of the developed system. So mark option A. Next eighth one. Eighth question. Which of the following should not normally be an objective of a test team? So for eighth question. Option D is the probable solution guys to demonstrate that the software doesn't work Right Next So guys actually uh, for eighth question Option E is the probable solution to prove this that the software is correct. So it's uh, for the test team So they have to find the errors. They should they, their aim is not to find a uh, not to prove the software is correct they have to prove that software is not correct right so it should not be an objective of the testing so this option e is the probable solution guys so mark option e now let's move on to the ninth question so ninth question Which one of the following activities is a validation activity? So for ninth question, the probable answer is option B guys. That is acceptance testing. Acceptance testing is the probable solution for ninth question. So before moving on to the 10th and final question of the assignment, I want to once again make you remember guys. So for the course software testing four weeks course, so we have collected the exam preparation and CPS with five years of NPTEL experience guys. So these are the combination of past NPTEL questions as well as our own handmade questions prepared, prepared from lectures guys. So here you are getting a huge number of 150 MCQs in a Google Drive PDF restricted link. If you take it for one person, it is 150. For combinedly for five persons, it will be just 500 rupees only guys. So individually, you can get for less amount if you take it for five persons. So mail me to this email ID guys, bk1794718 at the rate gmail.com. So take it now itself guys, so that you can get more time to prepare at the end, right? Now let's get more on to the last question. So for 10th and final question, I have got two probable solutions. That is option D and the other one is option D. So friends, these are the solutions for week one assignment of the course for the probable solutions of the course software testing. So hope this video helpful for you. If you feel the same, please subscribe our channel, like this video and definitely share this news with your friends and classmates guys, and keep supporting us like this. So until the next video, goodbye. Thank you guys.